Hi, today's question is a ticker timer problem that is on the topic linear motion and the question reads the figure below shows a tape made from a ticker tape timer running at 50 hertz. So this is the diagram. So for Roman 1, find the time taken for one tick interval. So we are told that the ticker timer frequency is 50 hertz and that will be important in this bit here. So we are required to determine the time taken for one tick interval. Now one tick interval here should represent the period. And therefore, if the frequency is 50 hertz, then the period is obtained as 1 over the frequency, and that is 1 over 50 hertz. So that the period is 1 over 50, and that gives us 0 0.02 seconds. Next, for Roman 2, we are required to get the velocity between points AB and DE. Now, the velocity between A and B is obtained as, so between A and B we have the distance as 5 centimeters, but velocity is given as displacement over time, and the displacement there is 5 centimeters. 5 centimeters in meters we divide by 100, and that is 0 0.05 meters and then you divide by the time interval now between the two dots a and b we have 0 0.02 seconds so that is as we had gotten it here and that should give us 2.5 meters per second next we are going to determine the velocity between d and e and the velocity between D and E, again, is displacement over the time interval. And displacement is 0 0.15 meters. That is 15 centimeters converted into meters. And then you divide by the time interval. So irrespective of the length, the time interval will always remain to be 0 0.02 seconds for all these intervals. So here we have... 0.02 seconds still. So the velocity is 7.5 meters per second. So that is for Roman 2. Finally, for Roman 3, we are to determine the acceleration of the body over the interval. So if the body is accelerating, then you expect velocity VDE to be the final velocity because it's higher than the initial velocity so that is for us to have acceleration so we're going to have vde to be in final velocity and vab to be the initial velocity so that acceleration is given us final velocity minus initial velocity all over the time taken so we're going to have the acceleration given by final velocity minus initial velocity and that is 7.5 minus 2.5 all over the time. Now the time we are going to determine as follows. So we'll consider the time from the midpoints of this interval. So between A and B, the midpoint is right here. So that the time there is now not 0 0.02 seconds, but half of it. So the time interval from the midpoint here is 0 0.01 and then for the last interval that is between d and e we also have right in the middle the time interval as 0 0.01 so that if we are to count how many intervals we'll have so we have for the first half so we have half plus one here so that is one and a half then two and a half plus the other half here we have three so that the time will be 3 times 0 0.02. 0 0.02 is the time for each interval. So that gives us the time taken for the change in the velocity. So finally, that worked out will give us, so acceleration is the numerator will have 5 meters per second, and then the denominator 0 0.06 seconds. So when this is worked out, we end up with 83.333 meters per square seconds as the acceleration. 
And that finally marks the end of the solution to this problem. I want to thank you for staying with me till this end. Thank you for watching. Hope to see you in the next video. Bye.